Okay, so we uh, did what we usually do, and we looked uh, th through the Twitter thread after after you solved it. And uh, this is actually the second um, solution we've seen from Brenda Massage, as yes. I, she wrote to us, and I hope I pronounced her name correctly this time. Uh, and this is the solution that you thought was really interesting. Yeah. So I, uh, I think I'm zoomed in on about as much as I can. Um, so why don't you say what you thought was interesting about this? Well, this one is a lot more simple than my solution, but just it uses the total side length. Okay. So since this the triangle goes from corner to corner, its hypotenuse is three root five, which is the sum of sides of these two okay. squares. Nice. And then since it has the same angles as this triangle, it's similar to it, and its sides are in the ratio of a to two a. And so the Pythagorean theorem says that a squared plus two a squared, which would be four a squared, equals their total five a squared, is three root five squared, which is five times nine, forty-five. Dividing by five, a squared equals nine, and a equals three. And then from that, you just find this side of the triangle, which is also the side length of the red square, and that's 6, and 6 squared is 36, so the red area is 36. Okay, cool. So what, um, tell me what you, why this uh, solution caught your eye. Uh, well, you really only need two triangles and two squares to figure out the problem with this solution. We use the ratio of the side lengths because you know the hypotenuse and you have a pretty simple ratio with the sides so you can easily find these two sides. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, well good job and, and that was really nicely explained as well. Yeah. All right, great job.